I was standing there. I was like, fuck out. Shut up, shut up. That's my new style. Hey, have a good summer. <laughs> Warning, if you are a Umar Johnson cult member, you might want to click off the video now. It's about to get ugly for your boy, real spit. Now, as we all know, LeBron's son took a white girl to the prom and the pimp of Pan-Africanism, her, came out and criticized LeBron and his son about it. And then the game came out and responded to Umar. And this is Umar's response to the game. And what I'm about to do is react to it and completely expose Umar's hypocrisy contradictions, manipulation, and show that this dude do not care about black people the way that he try to put on. Let's get it. Shout out to the game. Shout out to the game. I understand he expressed some disagreement with me pointing out the fact that I thought it was a contradiction that LeBron James and his beautiful wife allowed their son to take a snow bunny to the prom. How is that a contradiction, Umar, when LeBron himself took a snow bunny to the prom? But your ass of all people want to talk about contradiction? Cool. Let's play the contradiction game. The fact that you go around talking about black women or the queens, goddesses, mothers of the earth, you know, because he be doing all that sniffing and blinking uh, because there's one particular white girl that he actually does like, <laughs> but that's another video. He go around talking to all of that black women of queens, goddess, mother of the earth shit, but he himself has never married a black woman or even lived with one. Don't believe me? Watch. I've never been married. I've never lived with a woman. I've never been married. I've never lived with a woman. I've never been married. I've never lived with a woman. Oh, yeah, it's definitely about to be one of them videos. And if you're one of his cult members and you think that's bad, you must not know me. Oh, y'all don't know me? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> y'all definitely gonna see, because that's just the tip of the iceberg. Trust me, it gets worse. But Umar would have us believe that he thinks black women are the greatest thing since sliced bread, yet he's never married or even cohabitated with one in damn near 50 years on this earth. Let's do the math on it. No, no, it ain't adding up. It ain't adding up. Let's get it. The brother expressed his opinion, and I'm going to express mine again. Me too. All to hear, including the game. As a revolutionary Pan African nationalist, do not let that fool you. That's a fancy way of saying I'm getting my hotel on. <laughs> Please do not let that fool you. As someone who is committed to the ultimate liberation of African people, I reserve the right to critique the behavior of any African. And I reserve the right to constructively criticize the behavior of any African if I deem that behavior to be in direct contradiction of what we as black people, and particularly we as black men, need to be doing. Oh, so Umar reserves the right to constructively criticize any black person who is on the outside of doing what he says we should be doing as black people, black men in particular. Well, I find that extremely funny considering the fact that as black men, we should be fathers to our children. And I'm pretty sure 100% of y'all would agree with me. But guess what? This nigga got three kids by three different women, and he has no relationship with none of them. Don't believe me? Watch. Uh, my daughter's mother has never allowed me to spend a single day with my daughter in her six and a half years on this planet. If I want to see her, I have to go sit on her grandmother's couch. Neither my daughter's mother or her mother, the grandmother, have been willing to let me spend one day a week with my daughter in six and a half years she has never been with her father that's right ladies and gentlemen the pimp of pan-africanism aka the king of con men admitted out his own mouth that he ain't spent one day with his own six-year-old daughter and this was years ago so the little girl is even older now 
and he could have spent time with her had he took his ass to her grandmother's house and sat on that couch and spent time with his daughter. But apparently his daughter is not worth going to her grandmother's house and sitting on her couch and spending time with her. Apparently he would rather say, fuck it. I just won't see my own child because I'm not going to sit at her grandmother's house and spend time with her. And like I said, it only gets worse as we go along. The contradictions, hypocrisy, jankiness, and all around niggified behavior only gets worse. Let's get it. Some people are like, Doc, you should have done that video the other day we talked about your baby mom telling you the child support call. I had to. Right. God forbid, if I die today tomorrow, who gonna tell my daughter that your father loved you? And the only reason why he wasn't there is because your mom kept him out. Somebody got to let her know that. Because her mom ain't gonna tell her the truth. And her grandma ain't gonna tell her the truth. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta drop a couple little tidbits. I didn't go in too deep, just enough. So somebody can pull, it's something happened to me. Because what I think is so selfish about what my daughter's mother is doing is my life, my work is a very dangerous work. You don't know how long this man got. And you're keeping it from his baby. And my baby girl looks just like me. You understand? Right. And my oldest daughter, she almost at the age when she's free to do what she wants. Right. So we're going to be able to build that relationship right. better. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because oh, she's yeah. almost free. Oh, yeah. But my baby girl, she's starting off. Right. We need that time. Right. And the fact she would take me to child support when all I asked for was a day a week. I said I would give you the money. Right. I just need a day a week. Right. She didn't even want to give me a day a week, though. My baby girl's six and a half. She never been anywhere with me in six years, bro. Out to the movies, the zoo. I want to see it. I got to go to the grandma house. For what? For what? Because I didn't marry you? For what? You don't do that. But that's what they do. But they right up there on Germantown Avenue, all the way live cafe. Forget the address, because I would damn well tell you. Because I want everybody to go to all the way live cafe. My sister Naisha and Mama Beverly selling them vegan platters, talking that soul vegan shit. They say, why can't this man see his baby? Without y'all sitting in his face. Okay, couple takeaways from that clip. One, this fool said, you know, some people were saying you shouldn't have did that video about your baby mama taking you to child support court. Oh, but you know, I have to put that out there, you know, because somebody has to know who's going to let my daughter know that her father loved her because her mother and her grandmother ain't going to tell her, well, nigga, if you would have took your ass over the grandmother's house like they told you to do, and actually spent time with your daughter, wouldn't nobody have to tell her for you that you love her. You wouldn't have to make no goddamn videos for her to know that you loved her in the event that something happened to you. Two, look at the hypocrisy and the manipulation when he said, you know, I just think it's so selfish that my baby mama would do this, you know, keeping her away from me, knowing that I, you know, I'm doing a very dangerous work and something may happen to me as if somebody's going to kill him. The, the man is going to kill him because he's waking black people up. He's putting too much information out there. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Ain't nobody finna kill your ass. Use a whole, matter of fact, I'm not even, I'm not even going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But ain't nobody about to kill Umar. But this is his way of making, trying to make the baby mama look worse. And I'm not saying she's not bitter about nothing. I'm not saying that she's 100% in the right. I'm not saying that he should have to go to the grandmother's house to see his daughter. What I'm saying is, if that is absolutely the only option that you have to see your baby girl, any loving father would say, fuck it, that's what I gotta do. The fact that he don't do that shows that he don't give a damn point blank period. Because in essence, what Umar is admitting that if I can't control the circumstances under which I see my child, then I would just rather not see my child. Because at the end of the day, if you admit it that, you know, I have to go to the grandmother's house and sit on her couch, at the end of the day, that is your gateway to see your child. And the fact that you didn't take it because you don't want to do it under those circumstances shows the fact that you are just as selfish as the baby mama, my nigga. Stop it. Another takeaway from the video. He said, and my oldest daughter is almost 18, so we'll be able to build that relationship because she's almost grown, so she'll be free. So it's safe to say that if you are saying that you will be able to build that relationship, it's safe to say that you haven't established a relationship with your damn near grown daughter at the time. Again, these clips is 
a few years old. So that girl's probably in her 20s now. That girl's in her 20s now. So he had established a relationship with his daughter who was damn near 18 at the time that he made that video. And you want to sit up here and talk about what LeBron James should do with his son? I'm sorry. No. I got to bang the gavel on you, clown. I really do. No, 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 fam. And the last takeaway from that clip, this fool actually doxed his baby mama and her mother and gave out the address to their business. Well, not, he, he gave out the name. He said he would have gave out the address if he remembered it. And basically told the community, told the people to go to their place of business and ask them why Umar can't see his daughter. So basically, it is our job, it's the job of the community to solve this nigga's baby mama drama issues. And this nigga claims to be a leader. This, this, this is who the black community <laughs> propped up as a leader. But I digress, let's get it. LeBron James is a man who I respect. I think he's been a great role model for black boys. I don't consider him to be a political activist at all, but I do consider him to be a good role model for black boys. And because so many young black men look up to LeBron James, rightfully so. He has a black wife. He stayed out of trouble. He's went straight from high school to the NBA, and he has kept his image and his life squeaky clean. He is definitely an exemplary black man. So LeBron has all these qualities, right? Qualities that your ass ain't even got. Cause as you said, he married the mother of his children, the only mother of his children, might I add. Meanwhile, yo pro-black conscious ass got three black baby mamas, neither of which you married or even live with. Speaking of which, Umar, how you got more baby mamas than a goddamn ball player, Mr. I reserve the right to dick police 17 year old boys and criticize their parents because they let their son go to the prom with a snow bunny? Let's, let, let's criticize that shit, Umar. With that being said, he is not perfect. And with that being said, like all humans, we engage in contradictory behavior from time to time. And it doesn't hurt that somebody exposes that contradictory behavior. Well, I sure am glad you said that, Umar, because I intend to expose the hell out of your contradictory ass. I really do. Like how your ass is sitting here telling another man what to do with his son and a 17-year-old boy who he should and shouldn't take to the prom when when people question why your ass ain't married to a black woman and ain't never been married to a black woman and when are you going to get married to a black woman, this is what you had to say. And stop asking me why I'm not married yet and all that. Stay out of my personal business. So let's get this straight. Umar can come out and he can criticize LeBron, he can criticize his wife, and even his 17-year-old son for who he took to the prom. But when, when people ask him, why aren't you married or when are you going to get married, Umar, he says, stay out of my business, it's none of your business. And the fact that so many black people still take this dude serious I have zero hope in a black community. I'm sorry. I, I just got to keep it real. It, it's real spit TV. That's all I, I, all I know how to do is be real. I have zero hope in you niggas. Y'all call him a leader. But I digress. Let's get it. I did not destroy. I did not disrespect. I did not malign LeBron James. I did not cancel him. I said it was unacceptable irresponsible and politically dysfunctional for a man of his stature with the amount of black boys who look up to him to allow his son to take a white girl on the prom. Help me out, Umar. 
help me to understand who the hell you think you are to tell LeBron that him letting his son go to the prom with a white girl is completely irresponsible and unacceptable for a man of his stature when a man of your stature then did all kinds of irresponsible and unacceptable shit. And we're going to get into it. But before we do that, we're going to let Umar tell us what he thinks his stature is. So let's get it. You got to understand something. I'm probably the most influential and accomplished black school psychologist in American history. Not probably, I am. I am. I'm the most requested black scholar in the world, hands down. Peace and black power family. This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism, Dr. Umar Johnson. King Kong consciousness, notorious RBG, most requested scholar. I am Nat Turner, the new Marcus Garvey. Greatest black certified school psychologist in history. Greatest Pan-Africanist thus far of this century. Okay, so you heard Umar, right? According to Umar, he's the greatest black child psychologist in American history. He's the number one requested black scholar on the planet. He's the, uh, uh, what else did he say? He's the greatest Pan-African of this century. You know, he's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Jesus Christ reincarnated in the pro-black conscious form, right? But guess what Mr. King of Consciousness, Prince of Pan-Africanism, Ifatunde himself did when he got into it with Sarah Sudan City. He used colorism against another black man. Don't believe me? Watch. And don't worry, when I'm done talking about the Parent Association, I'm gonna deal with Papa Smurf. I'm gonna deal with that little dirty nigga. I heard you albino. I'm going to handle your ass tonight, pussy. Now you want it with the prince, nigga? You the general? Well, I'm the prince, nigga. The general answers to the prince. I call the fucking shots, you dirty midget. Fucking albino, nigga. Your problem is you got an inferiority complex. Don't blame me for that shit. I'm not the reason you look like a fucking cracker, nigga. Dr. Umar ain't the reason you look like a fucking cracker. You think I ain't studied your little nut ass, nigga? Think I ain't studied you? Every time you look in the mirror, you see a cracker, nigga. Every time you look in the mirror, you see a cracker, nigga. So you got to go extra hard because you're trying to prove to yourself that you're a black man. I ain't got that problem. I'm melanated, bitch. I'm melanated, bitch. When I look in the mirror, I see a black man. When you look in the mirror, you see a cracker, nigga. You look in the mirror, you see a cracker. I look in the mirror, I see an African. I know why you hating. You ain't warring with the cracker, nigga. You ain't fighting the cracker. You fighting the cracker within you. You fighting the cracker within you. That's your problem. You ain't at peace with yourself. That's right. The self-proclaimed Prince of Pan-Africanism, King of Consciousness, pro-black revolutionary, doctor of psychology, here to liberate the black race from the system of white supremacy, used colorism against another black man. Textbook white supremacist tactics. And with all the knowledge and research and information and history that this nigga know pertaining to racism, white supremacy, slavery, and everything, for him to use colorism against another black man, is completely irresponsible and unacceptable. And this nigga got the audacity to with a straight face address LeBron James, his wife, and his 17 year old son about being irresponsible and unacceptable? No, 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 no. That was horrible. And in what has to be one of the absolutely most hilarious clips I've ever seen in my life, in the same video, Umar acts like he gets a phone call from some real street dudes, you know, checking to make sure he good, you know, with Seti, because, you know, allegedly they heard what went on with Seti. So let's roll that clip. That Papa Smurf shit ain't going to get us nowhere. That Papa Smurf shit ain't going to get us nowhere. You feel me? Hold on. Yeah. Nah, I got this. I got this. I... So that Papa Smurf thing ain't gonna work. You feel me? Well, let me call my imaginary goons. Goons. Oops. 